Studies show that social media can have a negative impact on a child's mental well-being. As WRTV's Adam Shumes reports, one West Side school is teaching their students the importance of knowing how to report a problem before it can lead to a lasting impact. It's a typical Wednesday at McClellan Elementary School on the West Side in Wayne Township. I've been subbing at McClellan since... January. You can say Rachel Heimball is a super mom. She decided after watching her kids endure e-learning and the pandemic, she wanted to help. I figured it was a way to give back to the community and to help um, support not just teachers that might be exhausted, but also to be an extra pair of hands for the kids as well. Heimbaugh substitutes fourth grade at McClellan and two of her five kids attend the elementary school. Our children have access to Instagram, but they are monitored. We have access to their passwords. They know that we can see what they see. Heimbaugh and her children are in constant communication regarding what is posted on social media. Now McClellan Elementary School wants to make sure students feel safe. We surveyed approximately 125 sixth graders and of that 125, a significant amount shared with us their sleep is impacted by social media. Um, they shared with us that they are seeing things between their peers that concern them. Principal Jennifer Nichols says the survey was anonymous and it was prompted after she noticed students being impacted in negative ways by social media. We had a significant number of students report to us that they have um, friendships online with what they think are kids, but they're strangers. They can't tell me for sure that those are kids that they're speaking to. The school's next step is to provide a forum for students, even if it's anonymous, so the students can feel comfortable reporting a problem. We have about nine weeks of school left and we want to work with our kids to teach them how to be um, advocates for themselves, for their peers, how to recognize when something's wrong and then be able to operate in a responsible way that makes them feel safe. Working for you, Adam Shumes, WRTV. And tonight, McClellan Elementary will be holding a junior high parent night where parents will be able to meet their students' future principals. There will also be a forum held where parents can learn more about how to support their children and choose healthy habits when it comes to using social media.